What is acoustic emission testing? Acoustic emission testing is a non-destructive testing method that has been used for decades in various industries to detect and monitor the behavior of materials under stress. This technique involves the detection of high-frequency acoustic waves generated by the material when it undergoes deformation or damage. These waves are then analyzed to identify the location, magnitude, and type of damage present in the material. Acoustic emission testing is widely used in industries such as aerospace, automotive, civil engineering, and power generation, among others. How Acoustic Emission Testing Works Acoustic Emission Testing, AET, is a non-destructive testing technique that detects and analyzes the high-frequency sound waves generated by materials when they undergo stress or deformation. The process involves placing sensors, called transducers, on the surface of the material being tested. These transducers detect the acoustic emissions produced by the material during loading or unloading cycles. When a material is subjected to stress, it undergoes deformation, which results in the release of energy in the form of elastic waves. These waves travel through the material and are detected by the transducers placed on its surface. The signals picked up by the transducers are then amplified and analyzed by a computer system to determine the location, intensity, and frequency of the acoustic emissions. The analysis of the acoustic emissions provides valuable information about the condition of the material being tested. For instance, the amplitude and frequency of the emissions can indicate the type and severity of defects present in the material, such as cracks, voids, or delaminations. Additionally, the location of the emissions can help identify the specific area of the material where the defect is located. Acoustic emission testing is commonly used in industries such as aerospace, automotive, and manufacturing, where detecting and monitoring defects in materials is critical for ensuring safety and reliability. Applications of Acoustic Emission Testing Acoustic emission testing has a wide range of applications across various industries. One of the most common applications is in the field of non-destructive testing, NDT, of materials and structures. It is used to detect and monitor defects, cracks, and other forms of damage in materials such as metals, composites, and ceramics. Acoustic emission testing is also used in the oil and gas industry for monitoring pipelines and storage tanks. By detecting acoustic emissions, it is possible to identify potential leaks or ruptures before they become catastrophic. This helps to prevent environmental disasters and ensures the safety of workers. Another application of acoustic emission testing is in the aerospace industry. It is used to monitor the structural integrity of aircraft components such as wings, fuselage, and engines. By detecting any changes in the acoustic emissions, it is possible to identify potential failures before they occur, which can help to prevent accidents and save lives. In addition, acoustic emission testing is used in the automotive industry for quality control and testing of components such as engines, transmissions, and suspension systems. It is also used in the construction industry for monitoring the health of concrete structures such as bridges and buildings. Overall, acoustic emission testing has a wide range of applications across various industries, making it an important tool for ensuring the safety and reliability of structures and materials. Advantages and Limitations of Acoustic Emission Testing Acoustic Emission Testing, AET, is a non-destructive testing technique that has several advantages and limitations. Understanding these can help you determine whether EAT is the right method for your particular application. Advantages One of the primary advantages of EAT is its ability to detect defects in real time. This means that it can be used to monitor structures or equipment while they are in use, allowing for early detection of potential problems before they become more serious. Additionally, EAT is a non-invasive technique that does not require any physical contact with the object being tested. This makes it ideal for testing delicate or complex structures where other methods may cause damage. Another advantage of EAT is its sensitivity to small defects. It can detect cracks, voids, and other types of damage that may not be visible to the naked eye or detectable by other testing methods. This makes it an excellent tool for quality control and ensuring the safety of critical components. Limitations While EAT has many advantages, it also has some limitations. One of the main limitations is that it requires a high level of expertise to interpret the data accurately. The signals produced by EAT can be complex, and understanding them requires specialized knowledge and training. Another limitation of EAT is that it is not suitable for all materials. 
For example, materials with high levels of attenuation, such as thick composites or highly attenuated metals, may not produce reliable results. Additionally, heat is not effective for detecting certain types of defects, such as corrosion or wear. In conclusion, EAT is a powerful non-destructive testing technique that has many advantages, including real-time defect detection and sensitivity to small defects. However, it also has limitations, including the need for specialized expertise and limited applicability to certain materials and defect types. Understanding these advantages and limitations can help you determine whether EAT is the right method for your particular application.